Welcome once again to St Lawrence Jury on this, the first Sunday after Trinity. First, a piece of good domestic news from here at the uh, church vestry. I cleaned my fish tank this weekend and discovered that my two snails have had babies. So that's jolly exciting. I've got no idea whether they'll survive or whether they'll just be fresh food for the fish and the um, shrimps. But watch this space. Our Bible reading today is from Matthew chapter 9 and the beginning of chapter 10. At the end of chapter 9, we read this amazing verse. Jesus saw the crowd and had compassion on them, as they were like sheep without a shepherd. We've heard a lot about crowds this week, but don't worry, this isn't about to turn into either a left-wing or a right-wing rant but rather to say, well, the idea of crowds therefore caught my attention. Often when we read the Bible, we find out something about what's being said by the odd word in a sentence. And in this particular case, the word crowd tells us that Jesus is looking not to his disciples at this moment, but to those who are coming to hear him and are wondering what his teaching is all about. He sees the crowds and has compassion on them. An amazing uh, statement that we have a Lord who has compassion on us. Of course, those of us who are of faith already know that we are not like sheep without a shepherd. We are reminded in the Old Testament in that amazing Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. And Jesus himself says, I am the good shepherd. As Christians, we know that we have a shepherd. So when Jesus looks at the crowd and sees that they are like sheep without a shepherd, where does that thought take him? Well, the verses that follow are then addressed to the disciples rather than to the crowd. That compassion prompts Jesus to turn to his disciples and to say that he wants them to go out and tell others about him. He wants them to share in his work. He says the fields are ripe and ready for harvest, but the labourers are few. Go, go, go. Even in these difficult times, we who know the shepherd need to keep our eye firmly fixed on him. And we need to remember his call in our lives, that as he has compassion on those who do not yet know him, so we are part of that task force that are to go out and to tell others of the Good Shepherd and of his love, his care, his death and his resurrection for them. May God be with you this week. Amen.